Good morning, everyone. The Jewish world woke up to the tragic news that the Chabad rabbi, Rabbi Tzvi Kogan, was found murdered in Dubai, having been kidnapped, according to intelligence from Israel, probably by a terrorist cell. Uh, he had been followed by an Iranian cell. The latest attack against an innocent Jew murdered in anti-Semitic hatred for the simple reason that he was a Jew. This series of anti-Semitic attacks begins in this week's Torah portion with the birth of Jacob and Esav. And the Torah tells us in this week's Torah portion how they wrestled with one another in the womb and there was contention between the two of them. And ultimately in this week's Torah portion they meet up after a separation and the Torah says that they kissed one another. And the famous quote from Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, who says, did he really kiss him with all his heart? And our rabbis say, it's a known fact, it's a universal fact, that there is anti-Semitism, there is hatred from Esav to Jacob. And therefore, yes, he kissed him, but as the dots on top of the word and he kissed him imply, that it was a unusual set of circumstances that aroused his mercy to kiss his brother with a full heart. Going against the norm, which is the hatred of Esau to Jacob. And what our rabbis are telling us is that there are times of peace and cooperation and even a momentary affection of love between Esau and Yaakov. But let us not ever forget that the standard norm of strife between Yaakov and Esav is innate from the womb and therefore it is a immutable fact that Jacob and Esav unfortunately there will always be anti-semitism from Esav towards Jacob and so we as a Jewish community are faced with this reality and it has never changed for thousands of years however it has gotten much worse in most recent years you know, Palm Beach Synagogue was founded in 1994. We never had a security guard at the synagogue for the first 28, for the first 25 years. It was only since 2018, the Pittsburgh attack, that now security is necessary at every Jewish function in every synagogue around the world. And since 2018, the shooting at the Eitz Chaim Tree of Life Synagogue, Things have gotten worse and worse and worse. And today with not just anti-Semitism, but anti-Zionism, Jews around the world are being targeted. So what are we to do? First of all, we have to remember there are momentary kisses, like Asa kissing Jacob. And the United Arab Emirates has been uh, supportive of Israel and in good ties with Israel, thank God. And the Abraham Accords has brought friendship between Israel and moderate Arab states. A matter of fact, during this war, one of the airlines that continue to fly throughout the war is the United the Emirates. While some of the airlines, like one I'm flying now, Delta, has canceled flights to Israel, uh, thank God the Emirates have continued to land flights every day in Israel. So there could be that momentary kiss, but at the same time we have to be, remain vigilant because unfortunately we know that the hatred will never go away. And we have to become prouder and stronger as Jews. I want you to know that this Rabbi Kogan was working together with the Chabad rabbis in the United Arab Emirates to open the first school that actually opened this year in Dubai. And this is an example of continuing to grow and strengthen ourselves through Jewish education. And he ran a kosher store for tourists and for travelers. It is through the mitzvot, through Jewish education, through keeping kosher, through standing tall and proud, that is the only way we will triumph. We cannot hide, we cannot try to change the reality. All we could do is defend ourselves, protect ourselves, and grow stronger as a Jewish people. Wishing everyone a day of meaning and prayers for Rabbi Tzvi Kogan. May his neshama be at peace.